I want to give everyone some better insight on the illness that I have because I know it looks like I'm fine. It's like, oh, you always traveling all the time. There can't be nothing wrong with you. I'm not on my deathbed, that's for sure. Sometimes I'm okay, sometimes I'm not. It just varies and I don't know what starts the illness, what stops it. Um, what it is called, it's called fibromyalgia. There is no test for it, to, to, to look for it. It's just a process of elimination illness, basically. That's all it is. Like, they make you go through all these different tests to say, okay, you don't have this, you don't have this, you don't have this. We're going to do a scan on this, an x-ray on that, a blood test on this. And you do all these different things. And then once they see that you have none of these things, then they say, okay, you just have fibromyalgia. Some doctors don't even believe in it. They don't think it's real. So some people are very frustrated, even depressed, because people think they're lying. They don't think that if there's anything wrong with them. They're just being lazy. They're just making excuses. And I can understand why they feel frustrated, why people get depressed, and some people even kill themselves behind it. I've seen videos where girls will say that, you know, like, I'd just rather be dead than do deal with this because nobody believes me. Some people are confusing it with other illnesses. And basically what it is, is it's like a over pain. Mine seems to be worse than some of the others I've read about. Um, it, it can be literally from the top of my head to my toes sometimes. It'll be all day, every day. Um, and then sometimes I don't feel it at all. It can be focused in one area where it's like really, really extreme on one side and I don't feel anything on the other side. The pain sometimes burns, sometimes it's very sharp. It can feel like someone's like taking a sewing needle. Like sometimes when I feel it in my head, it's like a sewing needle just going in and out, really slow, in and out, in and out, in and out. Another aspect of fibromyalgia is feeling tired all the time, You're very fatigued. And it's not like typical feeling tired. It's like you can't take a nap and wake up refreshed and just go do all this stuff. It just doesn't look like that. I'm usually always tired. Even if you take a nap, it just doesn't really make a difference. You really just have to force yourself to do things. Some people describe just something as simple as taking a shower as to be a lot, and it is. It can be a lot just to take a shower. It just takes a lot out of you. You just want to sleep the rest of the day after you're done with it. Sleep is not easy to come by anymore. I was a eight, nine hour easy, you know, got ahead of it sleep person. Now four, maybe five hours max is what I get at night. You know, I could be sound asleep and then have like a sensation like someone just walked up and took a sewing needle and just stuck me with it and be like little jolt me, like made me wake up. Even on these trips, I know it looks like I'm just out having a ball, I'm just awkward, enjoying life. I am enjoying life because I don't think you should let anything just take you out like that. But even on the trips we've been on, I've had to take naps throughout the day just to get through things, just to get through activities to do some of the excursions that we do. When it comes to sensations, I am very, very sensitive to things uh, like my hands for one. These parts of my hands, the inside of like my thumb and my pointer finger, they are the most sensitive. So I can't take a lot of pressure in my hands. I can't hold things very long. Say something as simple as opening a water bottle. I can take the bottle and turn the top and the ridges that are pretty much on every water bottle top, they hurt my fingers. So just that small amount of pressure it takes to squeeze the top and turn it hurts my fingers. Now I can get the water bottle open, but it's like a quick, you know, turn. I can't just stay in that state long. Anything you do with your hands, especially grasping something, you have to use this part of your hand. That part of my hand hurts the most. Squeezing a pen to write, just that little bit of pressure it takes to write is just like, it can be too much. I can write for maybe a minute and then I have to stop squeezing the pen because it hurts. Holding a plate of food, you know, you this is the plate, you grasp it, 
if the plate has weight to it, it's gonna push up into my finger. So I can't hold the plate long because pressure that pushes it just that little bit. There's even been times where I don't like to drive as much, but I will when I really, really have to, is where I've been driving and pressing the brake. And while pressing the brakes, lift, mind you to stop at the red light, the sensation will shoot through my foot. So I have to switch feet to stop the car, which is kind of scary. I kind of slow down on driving because of that. The pain itself has gotten better since I initially started feeling it about July of last year. So it's not necessarily all day like it was, but um, I have my days where I feel a little bit more than others, just not as extreme. I don't know what I've done to make it better. Um, I definitely changed my diet a little bit more. I was already vegan. I wasn't exercising at first because I couldn't. And now I force myself to exercise. So between the diet and the exercise, maybe that has had something to do with it. And it's not easy to do, may I say. Um, it's very hard to exercise tired. Working out is something I try to pick at the best part of my day. That's why I'm forcing myself to work out. I'm changing my diet to try to see like, okay, we do these things. Can this potentially make it better? For the ones that don't think it's real, I don't know what it is because I'm not the doctor. I didn't go to school. I can't tell you anything about it from a medical standpoint, but I can promise you it hurts. Like the pain is real. If you just gung ho that it doesn't exist, feel free to find some other explanation for what this pain is. But I can attest to the people that feel it that it's definitely a real pain. It's a very strong pain. Um, it has like just so many symptoms that come along with it that just totally disrupts your everyday life where it's hard to do anything. Hopefully my journey encourages somebody to want to push through when you're tired and push through when you don't feel like um, mentally even doing anything. For the people that go through it, just know I feel you, I understand you, I get you. And at the same time, I'm trying to be like a beacon of light for you to still persevere through this thing. So I'm gonna try to co continue to do like my little snippets about it, any updates or um, advice that I may have for someone that is dealing with it. And hopefully together we can kind of figure out our journey and just make it better.